Mike here with another bike maintenance tutorial for the home mechanic. And today I'm going to talk about how to shorten hydraulic disc brake lines. I have my uh, Rocky Mountain Suzy Q fat bike here and I need to bleed the brakes anyway so I thought I may as well uh, cut the brake lines to the proper length in the process. Um, so this really won't increase the amount of work that much. What you'll find is that often when you buy uh, new bikes, for whatever reason, they seem to almost always have shifter brake lines that are too long. So here for my Rocky Mountain Suzy Q, you can see I have obviously a rigid fork, um, which requires, a sh uh, um, uh, you can use actually a shorter brake line than if you had a uh, shock at the front because you don't have the, the vertical movement uh, where you need that extra length to, to, um, to extend the cable and to take up the slack. So you can see here, like when I turn the handlebars fully to 90 degrees both ways, um, obviously you don't want the brake lines so short that it impedes that movement. But for me, this is just, it's just a bit too long. This could be cut uh, shorter and still not restrict the movement. So I may as well cut the lines to the proper length before I do the bleed. Okay, these are the tools you need for the exercise. A set of gloves. Uh, I'm using Shimano mineral oil, of course, because that's what's required for the XTR brakes. Uh, so it's not corrosive, but this keeps your hands clean and less slippery. A piece of chalk or tape to mark the location of the brake lever. You'll be rotating them up and then you'll want to ro rotate them back uh, into the same place. So marking them in advance uh, is, is, will make it easier. Also an eight millimeter wrench will be used to loosen and tighten the bolt that connects the um, cable to the lever. A needle insertion tool, uh, which allows you to insert the needle into the cable. This is from Jaguar, but, Jaguar, but there's a lot available. I wouldn't recommend trying to just use pliers and a hammer. Um, I guess it can be done, but uh, it's hard to do and most likely won't insert the needle in correctly. A four millimeter Allen key to loosen and tighten the bolt for the brake lever, a flathead screwdriver to loosen um, the, um, the bolt that uh, secures the brake pads to the caliper. Uh, a brake bleed um, block, which isn't essential, but a good idea nonetheless, in case you accidentally squeeze levers. And I'm doing a bleed after anyway, so I may as well insert the block now. This is housing and cable cutters, which will need to cut the um, disc brake cable to the correct size. I uh, also have a number of alcohol swabs, which is good to clean up the uh, mineral oil after you're done. And you will need olives, olives, which are these, and needles, which are these, um, because uh, we'll be cutting the cable to size and you can't reuse the ones that are there already. So the first thing I want to do is to remove the front wheel. Now I'll remove the little clip here, which is used to secure the bolt that holds the brake pads. Removing that bolt now. That's what it looks like. And removing the pads. Now I'll insert the bleed block into the caliper. And I'm just marking the location of the brake lever. I'm going to rotate them up and want to be able to rotate them back to the same place. This isn't critical, but uh, just makes accessing the cable a bit easier. I'll remove the uh, protective housing or protective cover and loosen the bolt that connects the cable to the brake lever. And I'll carefully remove the cable, try not to lose too much fluid.
And now I'll take my time to mark the location of the cable that I want to make the cut and making sure obviously not to shorten it too much. So spending a bit of time here to get it right. And once I feel I have the right length, I'll make the cut. Now I'll insert the cable into the needle insertion tool and insert the uh, brake cable needle firmly into the cable so that's flush with the end of the housing. And when I'm done, I'll slide the olive onto the end of the cable and insert the cable into the lever assembly and then reattach the nut. And you want to tighten this quite tight uh, to about uh, seven or eight newton meters of force. So it's a pretty snug fit for the cable fitting. So that's pretty much it for cutting the brake cables to size. This is pretty much ready to go. I'll put the brake lever back, put the wheel on, remove the block, put the pads in, um, put the uh, wheel back on, and I'm ready to go. Um, if you're lucky and you don't need to or didn't weren't planning to brake bleed, you will not have lost any, uh, any mineral oil in the lines and you'll be good to go. Um, for me, I lost a lot in the process, so not a big deal because I'm planning to do a brake bleed anyway, and that's what I'm going to do now. Um, it's pretty hard not to lose oil, so most likely if you're cutting your, your lines, you're, you're probably going to have to do a brake bleed, so not a bad idea to plan to do uh, to cut your cables to size when you, you want to do a bleed as well, and obviously make sure that you have all the equipment necessary to do bleed. Otherwise, you'll be left kind of stuck in the middle with uh, unable to finish the, the maintenance. So that's it uh, for another uh, bike tutorial and um, see you next time. Happy rolling.